And this teenager yeah. that's walking over the Vespucci Boulevard bridge, eastbound, looks injured and young. I'm also pretty sure she's passed out. Mar Mar we'll respond to that, you I guess, but naturally right I think there. the... Metro TR1 will be in route to that no one call. Should be along here somewhere. You see anything? Here on the right. Oh, yes. I'll let you out. TR1, show us Mitch. 1097 with a young lady. Eastbound for Spooky Boulevard, nearest place of 225. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm You're fine. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll, I'll be fine. Got a 911 call about a... I think you, about an injured girl. Ma'am, is this guy following you? Ma'am? Ma'am? You wanna just follow me behind the uh, Tahoe? Ma'am? Not sure what's happening here. Ma'am, do you want to go with this officer to the back of the car, please? Ma'am? Huh? What? Huh? Are, are you not listening? Sorry. Just... Yeah. See, wanna... I'm trying to watch the guy who took my ID. He took your ID. He took your ID. Yeah, I did. What, he took your whole, like, purse and everything, or just your ID? He... Literally all I had was my ID in my back pocket. Okay, how'd he take that? Got off his bike, ran up behind me, and he took it. Right, and you weren't gonna tell the police? And then he kicked me. So he assaulted you? You know, at this point, I'm not all that concerned about it. It's ain't the first time the night that someone's tried to kick me. All right, let's go. Let's go and take a seat up at the car. Yeah. Tr one, be on the lookout for a motorcycle. It's gonna be a tan shirt rider with a black looking vest. It looks like white pants. He's wanted for assault and possibly have stolen some identification off a young lady. Currently got him here. He's going. He's down on Popular, going southbound. If we can have a unit go that way. Hmm. So I kind of passed out earlier. Yeah, and he's followed me on the sidewalk for like literally a few seconds. Okay. He got stopped. TR1, be advised. He's... Yeah, TR1, be advised. He looks like he's coming back to our scene. We're going to be on the bridge. He's at the gas station, I believe, Neil. He up behind me, takes my ID, kicks me, and then gets back on his bike and bolts off. You right here. Uh, how long ago was this? Thought I heard a bike. Yeah, be advised. He's going westbound now. Westbound on Vespucci, back towards Mission. Mm. 
We right have now, a lead that's currently eye. searching for him. 160, got eyes. Ma'am, what he did to you is a crime, okay? It's it's not okay to hit anybody, let alone a girl, okay? So, it's up to you, but I strongly think that you should press charges, okay? Because you're, you're limping, you're, you're not standing up straight, you're obviously in a lot of pain. Well, some of that's probably from earlier's incident. Well, I'm just going to let you know now, the chances of him probably coming back here to do this again to you is pretty slim. It sounds like he's being pulled over right now, okay? Metro 489-1050, westbound Vespucci Boulevard, grand color Kuma motorcycle. Do you need medical attention, man? Metro 160, show me out with 489. Um, ma'am, just for our records and, in case, and when we go to prosecute this guy, it would be really helpful if we did get you checked out by a medic and get some photographs of the injuries, okay? I don't have to go with them, right? What was that? <clears throat> so I won't have to go with them, right? Um, no, we can have the medics come down here and they can just give you a quick assess and if they say you don't have to go with them, then, you know, you can stay here and we can grab the photos ourselves. But if they say that, you know, they want you to be checked out by a doctor, then you probably should go and do that, okay? Okay, I guess. All right. Um, just hang out here with this officer. TR1 to 489. You 1050 with that bike. Oh, you know, go ahead. 10 I got him off the bike. Yeah, what's the 20? Uh, 10 by Switchy Boulevard, what's that? Copy. Ma'am, what's your name? Ali Anderson. Right, you don't have any identification on you at all? No, not anymore. Okay, you said your name was Ali Anderson? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I'll leave you with the car. I'm gonna walk down to that traffic stop and see if I can grab her identification off this guy. Cap. All right, I need to go for a jog anyway. <clears throat> All right, I want her identification. Obviously, we're 10, 12, he needs to hang out with her, so we'll just run down here. We need a bit of a run. So, we'll head down to this traffic stop, which is literally right there. So, nothing like a good jog, that's for sure. By the sounds of it, they've got him off the bike, so, um, that's something. Doesn't look like he's in cuffs or anything, though. I'm not so I can let the partner or this unit right here explain. Depends on who wants to explain. You searched him at all? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's clean. Running his ID now, he looks clean as well. Okay, what name did he give? Uh, James May. Okay. Mr. May? Yeah? Lieutenant Collins, tactical response. Do you mind just coming over here? Under the cyborg for me? Alright. I'm gonna explain to you everything that's going on here in a minute. Can you just face that um, officer that's in front of you? I just wanna do a quick pat down. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna paint you down again, okay? Nothing of interest. Right, you can face me. Yeah, right. yeah. So, the young lady on the bridge, do you know her?
no, I called 911 on her because I'm pretty sure she's younger and she was limping or she was she looked injured. And I'm pretty sure she was younger and it was late at night, so I just back her few. All right. I was just kind of watching until you guys showed up. So my my issue with this at the moment is back there on Vespucci and Elgin, you're on you're on the sidewalk on your motorbike with her, and then I've come down here and you're with her again. So it kind of appears to me that you're following her. I ain't following her. I just called 911 because she just walked away after I talked to her and then well, she looked younger. And then I called 911. Well, you I... check my call logs and everything. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you, dude. It's not looking good for you at the moment. She's claiming that you you kicked her and you've also stolen her identification. I didn't steal shit. What the fuck? Well, this is what she's claiming and then we have a couple of instances where you're following her. I wouldn't even follow. First, I was in the alley dumpster diving. The, the uh, some officer would stop me there, where you can confirm that. That was And me. I followed her out because she she was also down there as well, making sure to get an available. And then she walked away. Then I saw her continue walking. Then that's when I called 911. And then you guys showed up. And then I just kind of drove away. And now here we are. I'm being pulled over for no reason, or for apparently kicking her and stealing her ID, which I don't have, or nothing, I have no shit. Well, it's not for no reason. She said it was you, she's all bruised and all that, so we have to investigate. Okay, the earpiece that's yeah, in your I ear... Called her cause the... Hang on. The earpiece that's in your ear, what's that for? It, it's my AirPod. It's, it's just music. Right. While I'm on the bike, I like to listen to music, and I don't really want to stir the public. Alright, just give me a second. TR1 to TR1 Portable. Uh, a medic's on scene. Respect. Oh, they should be around. Cubby, can you make your way down here uh, with her as well when you're all clear? Cubby, then for. All right. Sorry about that. This is talking to my partner. Um. So you didn't kick her at all. You never got off the bike. No. Did you get off the bike at any point when you were around her? Uh, just to call 911 because I didn't want to like try to balance and call the phone. Okay, I understand that. Just so you know, Lieutenant, about the situation where he said an officer had contacted him earlier, I can confirm that because I was the officer that had contacted him earlier. Okay. Alright, you understand why we stopped you though, Mr. May, just based on what she's told us and, you know, we've seen you with her a couple of times, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you... That's teenagers for you, they always fucking lie. They ruin people's lives for lying. Um, the, in the period that you have seen her, though, obviously we saw you with her over here at Vespucci and Elgin, and then you've seen her all the way over to the bridge. Did you see her at all in that travel dump, anything, over the bridge or in a, in a dumpster or anything like that? Uh, I don't know. I, I remember she was, like, sleeping in the alley. That's when the officer found her. Then she started walking. And then once I was driving back to go home, I saw her again, then she was like limping. Alright. Whatever. Okay, she's kind of getting checked out by our medics. Um, we'll get her to come down here, I'll ask her a couple more questions, and then we'll go from there. So hopefully we won't tie you up, tie you up much longer, um, but we just need to figure this out, okay? It's either we figure it out here or we all go down to the station and figure it out, okay? Mm-hmm. Alright, just hang out here. Do you mind if I have a s s smoke? Uh, officer, it's up to you. Can I borrow your MDT? Go for it. Oh well. Oh yeah, go ahead. What's the access password? Yeah, you should be logged in already. Okay. Uh. Ali Anderson. Two thousand and five, how old would that make you? Fifteen? Yeah, two thousand and five. Depends on the month. Fourteen or fifteen. 
Yeah, she's about 14 and a half. What the hell is a 14 year old doing out on the streets at midnight? Yeah, that's yeah, what I, I call her. Have you guys had any other calls with her? The only call yeah, I've was... had was that she was passed out of exhaustion in an alleyway. She got treated by the medics, but that was about it. Yeah, hold on. Right. I don't see who you're talking about. Just hang, just watch him, just hang out here. Call I've had with her. That's fine. You seen her before? Yeah. I think Officer Mitchell and I have. Ali, how old are you? Can't. Fifteen. All right, just come over here and just sit on this side of the boxes for me. Is she all cleared from the medics? Okay. Uh, yep, I got the uh, photos and documents from them, and they said she was good to go. Right. Alright, Ali, this is where we're kind of at at the moment, okay? We've spoken to the gentleman over there, we've searched him, he hasn't got your identification on him at all. He claims he's never kicked you. Um, he claimed that he called 911 because you were injured and walking down the, the sidewalk, okay? Of course he was. Did you search her at all? Everyone always does. No, not yet, but uh, EMS did... Um... In the documents, it does say she does have some bruising uh, around her neck. Okay. The bruising neck around... shoulders. The bruising around your neck, how, how is that there from? What's it there from? Gas money. From something that happened earlier. So that's from a previous injury? Mm-hmm. Okay. What about the other bruising? Mm-hmm. What was that? What other bruising? Didn't you... I thought you said there was other bruising, sorry. That's just in the neck and shoulders. Where oh. did he kick you when you yeah. said he kicked you? That's kind of what I wanted, that's what I was getting at. I mean, it just, I'm not playing, but it wasn't really anything significant. Oh my god. Alright, but he kicked you yeah, the... in the leg. And then he took your identification. Considering literally after the fact, he went behind me, and then the next second after, I don't know my ID. So did he and take your identification first, or did checked. he kick you first? No, he came after me first. Right. So when you were laid out on the concrete in an alleyway, passed out or whatever, did you have your identification on you then? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you have your identification on you at Vespucci and Elgin when that officer there stopped him for parking on the sidewalk with his motorbike? Yeah. Okay. Did you have your identification over here? When he was behind me? Or after that? No. So you lost your identification somewhere around. over here? It's over there somewhere, I guess. Alright, because this is my issue right now. I'm not accusing you of lying or anything, but this is where we're at right now. He's denying everything. He doesn't even have your identification on him. I've searched him. I've, they've searched the bike. He doesn't have anything on you. He's claiming he, he never kicked you at all. And you're telling me a completely different story, okay? So, if he had your identification, where would it be? Do you know? Oh, he's on a bike. He either could have stashed it there or he chucked it somewhere. I know. I have a couple of ideas where he may have if he, he did no want to do that. behind, basically. He did go down Popular and then down to LS Customs and did down an alleyway and then did a U-turn and came back. Plenty of time to ditch an identification somewhere. What do you think? I mean... I'm I'm not too familiar with the events that occurred earlier, but what would be the motive behind someone kicking someone, then taking their ID and throwing it out? You got a dollar? 
Okay. Ha- have you met him before at all? No. No, at least I haven't personally met him at least, no. He was in the same alleyway earlier. That was about it, and then he... I don't know, I think he tried to kick me earlier, but instead of kicking me, he kicked the cat. Right. How hard did he kick you? Like, it was it just like... No, not enough that I noticed, but not enough to really cause much pain. Is it... Are you 110% sure he took your ID, though? Is it possible that he didn't? I'm almost positive that he would. Considering it went missing after he suddenly showed up behind me and... whatever mm. else. It's kind of strange okay. that it's suddenly missing. I've, we've all got body cams on. Do you mind if I just give you a quick pat down? I just want to make sure you don't, you know your ID isn't somewhere and you've forgotten about it or it just slipped somewhere and you didn't realize. Do you mind if I just quickly check your pockets? Go for it. No, she's clean. Alright, we'll take her statement. Have you already got her statement? Yep. Alright. Um, Ali, it's one o'clock in the morning nearly, okay? You're 14 and a half. You should be at home. I don't even know why you're out this late. Um, whereabouts is home? Park, and it's not really home, it's my sister's. Right. But it's one o'clock in the morning, so you shouldn't be out on the streets at this age. You should be at home, okay? Have you got any way to get back home? No. Just walking back. Okay. Um, we'll take her in my our car, and apparently. on our way up there, we'll check that alleyway really quickly for an ID. Um... Med, I want all his identification. I want a full written signed statement from him. I want to know where he lives. I want to know his phone number. Um, I even want to know what he all had right. for breakfast this morning. And then he can be on his way, okay? And if we need him, we'll get in contact with all him right. at a later date. Yep, you got it. All right, thanks. Safe travels. All right, let's go. She getting in the car? Well, sorry, I'm like half out of it right now. It's okay. Oh, we'll just search quickly around that area where he went with the bike. Did you see him go down in LL's customs as well? Uh, I saw him go in. Oh, it looked for, to me like he went around the back, but maybe I'm mistaken. Well, it's dark now, so I'm not sure if he actually went in or around. Uh, we'll take a look in there as well then. He could have ditched it anywhere. Yeah. Alright, Ali, just hang out in the car, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, you want to search there? I think he went under this tunnel as well and came up past that other building and back onto the bridge. So if you want to walk this area here, I might walk around the customs over here, this sort of area. Okay. Might just, nope, he's coming this way. I don't see anything Nothing here. so far. Yeah, I yeah, think we'll just call it a night. I think from, by the sounds of it, from what Mid and Mid was saying, she's already had a traumatic night or something. There was a beat down much earlier in the day. Um, 
I, she's probably traumatised and stuff. She may have misplaced the identification herself and she's made up some little story, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, uh, it's a very interesting story. Since EMS didn't notice any injuries to anywhere besides her shoulders and neck, and that was from a previous injury, so... Yeah, so... We'll just take her home and... I, I mean can pass it on to detectives or something, but, I mean, I don't think there's really anything here. Yeah. Bigger concern is why is she out here walking the streets at, you know, 11, 12, 1 in the morning? That's a good question. But no, I didn't see anything on the sweep over there. Metro 160, show me 1098, 108. Me neither. All right, what is your address? Or is it already in my GPS? You got an address? See, what's this guy back down here again for? That's... I don't know. Have you got an address, Valley? Because I'll need a GPS coordinate. TR1 show is 10 6 giving one minor a ride home. Uh, the other officer has the uh, statement for us ready at uh, Mission Row. Uh, okay, perfect. Shim is this one here, maybe? Is this the right house or is it across the road? Uh, she said 444, right? Yeah, she dozed off again. Yeah, I think it's. Okay, why is he I'm here? Sure. Um. TR1 requesting backup Nicola Place, nearest postal 444. Lights only. We got that motorcyclist is back here around her residence. 312, show me in route. Ali, wake up. 489, in traffic. Ali, can you hear me? Fuck's sake, this kid. Ah, oh, because I don't own this car. I think she's asleep. Fucking door. Allie. Allie, it's wake up time. Can you wake her up? I hear footsteps. Yeah. I don't trust this guy one fucking bit. They touch one at a time. Right, I'm saying traffic. Gentlemen. How's it? So, I assume you guys let him go. We went down to Ellis Customs to search the area for that ID. He then came down there and was down the alleyways as well. We've come here to take her home to this residence because her sister lives here. 
And he's now at this residence right here. So he's definitely stalking her. Okay. I don't know where he stashed the identification, but he knows where it is somewhere. Alrighty, I'll be in the area looking, uh... Well, actually, hold on a sec, I have a statement right here, if you want it. Yeah, what's it say? Uh... It says he saw some girl in an alleyway at while he was dumpster diving. Uh, by the way, that was his lunch. He found a peanut inside the dumpster and ate it. Uh, then he That's disgusting. <laughs> got pulled, he got stopped by uh, Kyle over there. And then we saw him shortly thereafter on the sidewalk talking to this woman. What, after what's that, his address? Uh, he was told... Oh, he lives up in the county. So why is he in the backyard of this property here? And he's got a box. For a motorbike. Right now? Yeah, he's got a box in his hand. Interesting. He definitely lives yeah, in the he county? Lives up on a... Yeah, Joshua Road. Oh, I see him behind me. Mitchell, are you right to just make sure Stars is okay with her? There's no way he's moving in here, right? No way. You're kidding. There's no way. Where's the bike? It's in the it's up the garage there. Oh my god. I'm gonna knock on the door. Alright, I'll be out here. LSPD! Hello? Hello? Sir, can you come outside for me? Or... Yeah, just come over here for me, sir. Wow. You own this property, sir? Yeah. Right, because um, our database shows that you live up in the county. At my home. Have the keys and everything. Right. Okay. So you just recently brought this property. Uh, Metro one sixty. Show me ten ninety eight. Yeah. Sorry. What was that? My radio was going off. About a couple months ago, but yeah. Right. You just never updated your information. Yeah. I haven't gone down to the Secretary of State yet and updated the deed. I think it's still under my uh, mother-in-law's name because it was her house, and then she passed away. Then we got an inheritance. Right. Okay. What What's your connection with her? My mother-in-law? No, the girl that's claiming that you assaulted her. No, no connection at all. I really just saw her in the alley when I was dumpster diving, and then she walked out. Then I asked if she found anything. She was in the alley as well. Drove away. And I saw her again, limping, walking, limping, that's my call number one. It's a lot of coincidences, yeah, wouldn't you say, officer? That was the coincidences for me living here, and then just... She lives next door, out. that's a coincidence. You bump into her in an alleyway, that's another coincidence, is it? She's walking down a bridge, you bump into her again, that's the third coincidence. I'm, I'm sensing a bit of a pattern. And I didn't bump into her. I think I it's a bit of a pattern, wouldn't you call. agree, officer? Yeah, most definitely. Mm. And I, I don't really believe in coincidences. Well, I think you should then, because I live here. I've lived here for about two months now. Mm. It's unfortunate that your records don't, you know, share the same responses. Well, you can look at the deed. It, say, it says Nancy May. Well, if I have the keys and all the other shit inside. Right, well, I think this is what's gonna happen, sir, is you're gonna come down to the station with us and we're gonna take this down down there, okay? And we're gonna have some more questions, okay? Why? Because you're stalking. How am I stalking for going to my house? Because you're following this young lady. For going home to my house? Her house is for It's sale. got nothing and to do with just this. Me. It's got nothing to do with just this. 
for me doing that job and then she was there, then I could see her walking injured, so I called 911 for her to get help. Dude, you bumped into her three times. I then go down to Alice Customs to search yeah, the area and you come down time. there again. And then you come down there again. I come up here and you're up here now. Five times now. This is I five... This is five coincidences no. that you're trying to tell me are just a coincidence, you know, it means nothing. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? I literally about? told you, I saw her once, when she was in the alley, because the other officer was there. She's like, help, the officer was helping her up, I was going there for my rounds for my dumpster diving. Mm -hmm. She walked away, I talked to the officer, he did all his things, we taught me to put my gun away and everything. And then... Basically, I went to the other alleys, and I saw her walking, she was limping, called 911, I followed her until 911 showed up, so I know she wasn't in danger, and then you guys stopped me for that, I come home, and there she is. How am I supposed to know all this? Alright, alright, no, you're right, it's just a coincidence, hang on. Now, get this through your head. You're going to stay away from her, and if you don't, and if I have to come back here, I'm going to break your left leg, you understand me? You stay away from her. Are you threatening me? Am I a We're done, officer. He's shook. That guy's a classic predator. What did you say to him? Oh, yeah. He, he looked shook. Why did he say you threatened him? Uh, I told him if I have to come back here because he's stalking her again, I'm going to break his left leg. Uh, why not his right leg? No, I might break both. I think the right one's more useful. Most people are right-handed. right, le right -handed. Meaning, you know, can, uh, probably use the right try. leg as well. Alright. Ali, the guy that you said kicked you and stuff, do you know him? Have you met him before? I know you've already told me no, but I need you to think really hard. any other time besides when it, he kicked the cat. Okay. Hey, was you aware that he's living in a residence about a house down? No. Right. Okay. Well, I've told him, we've told him to stay away from you. I don't think he's going to be a problem anymore. Okay. Um, hopefully you'll be safe, but if not, you know, dial 911 like you like if you have to, if it's an emergency, or even if you feel like you're being threatened or anything, call 911 and we'll come back, okay? Alright. Alright, just take it easy, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um... This is, this is just ridiculous. I, think I just texted you the entire statement. Yeah. I, I can't believe we've got to let him go. We've got nothing. Apart from, I mean, we could take him for stalking, but I mean, it's literally a, a restraining order, so he'll be back out in an hour. Yeah, well, I can sit here for a decent bit. Dude, I don't know what's up with this case, is just different to me. I just want to smash his lights out. Hey, I mean, uh, my camera's off. <laughs> uh, no, I don't roll that way, but it just, that guy, just something about him just makes me want to hit him. <laughs> Tell me about it. He's just one of those creepy slime bastards who just get on you and, I don't know, he's just creepy. Creepy's definitely the right word. Five coincidences though, and then he's trying to say that, you know, it's just that, it's just a coincidence? I don't think so. Let's let's keep a car on this block for the yeah. night. That is the plan. Alright, what are the other two up to? Uh, they're walking with her. The sister has the house doors locked and she's not home, I don't think. Okay. Uh, something like that. I just heard the sister's not around. I don't know if she's asleep, but the doors are locked. She can't get in. She can't get into this residence at all? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. I think the other two went with her around back, try to find a, another way in. Yeah, I think they did, because... Yeah. 
Did you manage to make it in okay? Yeah, she uh, she got in. Told her to lock the door, and if she sees anything suspicious or something, just to call 911. Okay. I um, I've I've told this guy to stay away from her. He's he's trying to co convince us too that five coincidences is, is just that. It's just a coincidence that he keeps bumping into her. He he claims he's not stalking her or anything. Um, I've warned him. Um, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep a unit on this block. We'll do two hours, three hour shifts or something, and we'll alternate. Um, at least till the morning, cause I I don't trust this guy at all. Yeah. He's a he's a classic A predator, dude. Like, he's definitely stalking her, and he's just recently moved in this property one house down from the county, and he claims he's been living here for a month or two now, but hasn't updated any of his any of his like stuff through the database or anything. Yeah, it's very suspicious. Mm. I'm gonna go try to find a traffic um... violation on him. Well, he that. just had it on the back wheel, didn't he? Yeah, yeah he did. He did. Oof. You get him. I don't know if uh, maybe she could get like a restraining order to at least keep her safe. Yeah, if he goes near her again, that's definitely what we'll try and push her to do. Yeah. But I feel like a, just a bit of paper with a guy like that isn't gonna keep him away, you know what I mean? Yeah. Jesus! Oh, God. Did those two just rear... Like, did he just rear into him? Um... I think so. You all good there, Mitchell? Yeah, I think I'll be okay. 